everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with FoodChallenges.com. Today we are going to discuss how to win a sandwich eating challenge. Now, with sandwich challenges, they come in all shapes, types, and sizes and varieties. There may be barbecue sandwiches, there may be a Philly cheesesteak, there may be deli sandwiches like this one. For this challenge, we are at Bronx Deli in the Farmington Hills area near Detroit, Michigan. I'm taking on Mark's Meteor Challenge. Mark's Meteor Sandwich Challenge, obviously. We've got basically two pounds of meat and there's also a bunch of coleslaw, Swiss cheese, and Russian dressing. Then there's also french fries, a side of potato salad, and then there is some matzo soup. I've got 30 minutes to finish this thing. Only one person's been able to win. If I do finish it, I will get the $45 meal free. I'll get a sweet t-shirt, and I'll be up on the Wall of Fame. So let's get this challenge started. All right, so my body is all trained and ready to go, ready to take this entire meal down. Now for my strategy, and with your sandwich challenges, some restaurants allow you to have options on the sandwich that you get, some don't. For this one, I had basically two options for the two pounds of meat. I could go with corned beef or turkey. I went with a pound of each just for variety, but when you order your meats, if you do have the option, you want to go with Especially, this is my preference, you may have a different one, but with warmer meats, they're more juicy, tender, they're easier to eat than the cold meats, such as if this was just regular deli meat straight out of a refrigerator or anything like that. So, if you're doing a barbecue challenge, you're probably going to want to get pulled pork, which has some sauce on it, some juices, rather than brisket, which is a little bit more chewy. But for this challenge, we've got all kinds of sides to eat along with it, but Kind of like a multi patty burger challenge, I'm going to eat a majority of the meats first, then I'm going to actually enjoy it as a sandwich and then get it down and then I'll move on to the sides. But let's get this started and then we'll talk about more strategy as we go along. I've got 30 minutes, which is plenty of time, so let's get it started. One, two, three. All right, now this meat is all apart already. So I'm just going to have a regular fork just to eat some of this and then we'll work on the rest later. All right, four minutes and 45 seconds in. Probably I'd say over half of sandwich eating challenges basically have no sides. There's either like a two foot sandwich or just basically a massive sandwich obviously, but this one has sides so I'm going to take advantage of them. I'm going to use the broth from the matzo soup here to help me get this really thick dense bread down. So I'm going to eat the matzo balls next and then I'll be able to dip the sandwich in while I eat it and get it down faster without having to use water. If your challenge allows you to have au jus or soup or anything like that, you're welcome to take advantage too. FYI, dunking in soup or au jus or something like that is much different than just dunking in water or something like that. But let's get some of this sandwich down. Eleven minutes in, so what I did, I made a little bit of a minor mistake on my strategy. 
so I had to adjust it on the fly like you'll have to do sometimes during your challenges but I bit into the sandwich and it was a little bit way too thick the bread was way too tough to chew as a sandwich and actually enjoy it so I ate the meats and the coleslaw and everything with the bottom bun and now I'm going to eat the top bun with the soup and get it down and then move on to my side so very very good sandwich For this now, we've got only our fries left and our potato salad. I've got my soda to help get these down, but uh, typically, late in challenges, I'm not big on the really chewy texture of things like coleslaw and potato salad, so I'm going to get this down first, then move on to my fries, but if you have more of a hard time eating fries, you need to do those first, followed by the potato salad or whatever you may have left with your challenge. But I got my big spoon, I'm gonna get this stuff down real quick and then move on to the fries. All right, 20 minutes and 20 seconds in, what I forgot to add is that there was a drink required as well, but I knew that my capacity was big enough to complete the challenge along with a few extra liquids. So I started with water, but now I'm switching over. I've been switched over to soda. I'm gonna finish off this one, and then this one's just an extra one. I'll use it to get the rest of the fries down, but let's get it after it. Eating the fries like I always do in all my videos. Good job. <sighs> <Yeah>. <sighs> All right. 26 minutes and 33 seconds. Second person to defeat the challenge. It was awesome. Thank you to Bronx Deli for the awesome Mark's Meteor Sandwich Challenge. Remember during your sandwich challenge that you need to eat the tougher meats first. There was only two pounds of meat and both were fairly similar in consistency and uh, tenderness as far as the corned beef and the heated turkey so I just kind of ate them together. But And I used the coleslaw on the sandwich to help get it down. But that is basically how to win a sandwich eating challenge. Now obviously you'll have to adapt it to whatever type of sandwich challenge that you're going to be taking on. So thank you for watching this how to video. Until our next one, this is Randy Santel. Atlas with foodchallenges.com helping you guys win before you begin.